Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings, and this is the new samples feature in BandLab called My Sounds. So if you don't already know, if you tap on the screen just below the bottom track, or you tap on an empty space on a track, this sample icon appears. And if you tap on that sample icon, you get access to all these BandLab samples. And there's three different groups of samples. If you tap on one shots, you've got this group of one shot samples. That is a sample that's designed to be played just once through. And if you tap on loops, you get all these samples that are a specific number of bars long, so you can use them to repeat over and over. And as you can see, there are lots and lots of them. In fact, there are probably quite a few hundred, if not hundreds and hundreds of them. And also on top of that, if you click on packs, you get the packs as well. And if you click on a pack, you'll get another list of samples. And if you click on a sample, you can hear what the sample sounds like. Now this is not the new part, this has been here for a long time, but you'll notice that there are lots and lots of packs, there's hundreds and hundreds of loops, and there's hundreds and hundreds of one shots. And although you do have this tab section at the top here where you can say click on voice, and then you get, yet again, another long list of samples. When you're looking for a specific sample, it's long-winded and takes a long time. And that's okay when you're looking for it for the first time, but if you then want to use it in another song, it's tedious to have to go back and look for it again. So this is where this new feature has appeared. And you'll see at the bottom of the screen here, we've got this little icon. And if you click on that icon, it opens this new section called My Sounds. And if I go back out and tap on it again, you'll see when it first arrives, that little icon has also got My Sounds written next to it. It's exactly the same thing, so if you tap on that, it gets you back to the same screen. Now what you'll see here on this My Sound screen is you've got two tabs at the top. One's Favourites, and if I click on Collections, you've got one that says Collections as well. And in this Collection section, this is where you can create, well, I was going to say your own collections, but it's not really. What you actually do is create a collection of your favorite band lab samples which obviously makes it a lot easier to find these samples if you need to use them again so as you can see on the screen here at the moment it says you don't have any collections yet so if i tap on where it says collection name and type in a name and then tap on create you'll see that this new collection has been added. But you'll notice just under the name, I've called this one one, it says zero samples. And if I now tap on that collection, you see it opens up and it says no samples have been added yet. So naturally you might think tap on the three dots, tap on the three dots and all it says is rename or delete. Or if you tap on the search icon, type in anything you like, let's just put in a G, and it comes back and say no samples found. So it looks a little bit confusing. You're now thinking, well, how do I get samples into there? Well, what we need to do is click on the back arrow. So it takes us back to this My Sound screen, and then click on the back arrow again. And now we're back to the samples. 
So if say there's a one shot, if I go to the one shots, tap on one shot here and let's tap on this one, see what this one sounds like. Okay, that's all right. If I want to add that one, that sample to this new collection that I created, I just need to click on the three dots to the right of the sample name and then click on add to collection in this pop-up menu and then it'll take us back to our new collection screen and then just need to tap on the collection that you want to add it to so if I tap on this one that I created called one we suddenly then go back to the one shot list but it has actually added that sample to the collection. So if I click on my sounds at the bottom again now, and then go to collections, and then click on my collection one, you'll see now that sample is in the list. And I can play that sample from there. And if I want to use that sample in, a, in my song, I just need to click on the plus icon and then it will add it to my project. So if I just click on the back arrow again here and then click on the back arrow again, you'll see that you can also, if we go into packs, if I click on packs, you'll see that these packs have all got a star to the side of them there, which is a favorite star. So if I click on the, the star next to one of these packs, and then go back into my sounds, you'll see now in this favorite section, that pack has been added to my favorite packs. And I can go back to the samples. Let's have a look at the loops here. And if I click on the three dots to the right of one of these samples, let's listen to this one. Okay, let's have that one. If I click on the three dots there, You'll notice in the pop-up I've also got add to favorites. So I can add this to my favorites. And if I go back to my sounds by clicking on the my sounds icon, you'll see now that sample is sitting here in my favorites. And of course I can click on the three dots if I want to, and I can actually then click on add to collection and add it to my collection. So not only have I got that sample in my favorites, but I've also got it in my collection now. And if you want to remove a sample from the collection, just click on the three dots and click on remove from collection. Then click on remove again on the pop-up message. Now, if I click on the back arrow again, and I click on favorites, if I want to remove the sample from my favorites, I'll just have to click on the three dots and then click on remove from favorites. And if I want to remove the pack from my favorites, I just need to click on the star, which is in the top right corner of the pack image. And then that's gone. Now, if I go back to collections, I can click on the three dots here. And if I want to, I can click on rename and rename my collection. Or I can click on the three dots and click on delete. Then click on delete on the pop-up message. So if you're someone who's been using BandLab samples, you're probably going to find that this is really quite a useful thing to have. If you don't use BandLab samples, then maybe this might encourage you to use some. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.